Okay, let's chat about electricity and what it means. An electric charge from the protons, now I've seen the sign protons like the positive there, and electrons, the E spinning around out there, those are the negatives. So if you remember, an atom, it has that nucleus, and the protons are in there. And then spinning around the outside are the electrons. Those positives and negatives, those are important to understand so you can understand electricity. There's static electricity, which means it picks up or increases a buildup of electric charge on something. For example, like a balloon, you rub it against something, and it's picking up those charges. It could be a whole lot of negatives or a whole lot of positives. So remember an atom itself, it can become charged. How? Well, it can either increase those electrons or they can go away, be decreased. If you increase the electrons, it means the atom itself has become negative. Because remember, electrons are negative. So the whole atom itself is becoming negative. Well, if the electrons leave, or they're gone, or decreasing, the atom itself becomes positive. The law of conservation of the charge, of, car of charges, those positives and negatives, they can switch around, but overall the whole total of positives and the total of negatives cannot change. They cannot be destroyed or, or created. It's very similar to other laws of conservation. You know, you can switch things around, you can move them around, transfer them, but you can make or destroy them? No, that's impossible. So if you remember, maybe from a long time ago, if you have two things that are positive, what happens? Well, they repel each other. If you have two things that are negative, they'll also repel each other. But if you have a positive and negative, they'll attract, they'll come together. So those words for opposite or going away from each other, it's repel. If they're coming together, that word is attract. It's important to also know that. So when we're talking about the charges, the positives and negatives and stuff like that, there are some materials that can carry electricity and some that can't, some that block it. If it can carry the electricity, and those electrons are allowed to move easily through it, that's called a conductor. For example, lots of metals. There's other things, but mostly when you think about it, you think about metals carrying electricity. There are a few other things, yeah, but most of the time you think about metals. An insulator, so that means that it blocks those electrons. Those electrons cannot flow through or it's really difficult for them. For example, wood, plastic, rubber, those kinds of things. You remember you can add a charge, positives and negatives, those charges, and there's two different ways you can do that. You can add that by contact. For example, like when you rub the balloon and it's making that charge on the balloon, or the other one is called Um, induction. If there's a positive charge on something and you get it near something else, that charge jumps to the other thing. Like lightning. That's a perfect example. 